What's going on, everybody? This is 2020 Bowman Baseball Hobby Case Break number 8. Joe's going to rip it on the top there. $150 giveaway at the end of the break. Top three will win. We'll do that at the end. Please be Bowman. Please be Bowman. Please be Bowman. Yes. Had a very nice case last time, but we're looking for a super fractor. If we hit a super fractor. Whoa. Whoa. This is Nick and Knight live viewers wow, only. Oh, this gets. Guess the Super Fractor. Can be autographed, can be non autographed, can be insert, can be non insert. If someone guesses it live in the chat right now tonight, and we pull that guy, I will send you $100 in break credit. Live viewers only. It pays to watch live, especially these Bowman breaks. <laughs> right, keep me company. And you have to be in the chat when it hits. So you have to be to, here to claim it too. Wow. You gotta watch the whole Must thing. Must be present to win. Yep. I don't want to be breaking Bowman by myself. Right. Because so. I'm bailing after I open. So far, <laughs> so far, zero guesses. There we go. Nobody wants. Okay, it. one guess. <laughs> we got Red Dragon. He says the Oscar Gonzalez auto. Oscar Gonzalez auto. Even right. calling a shot. Good Even luck, calling sir. the autograph one. If we hit the non-auto one, I'll still send one. What's that? Yeah, he's he wants the Brennan Davis Red Fractor auto. So. We have two more hobby cases in the store. Slightly higher pricing, but I lowered um, a few of the teams. So those are up there now, 9 and 10. Those will be here tomorrow. We'll probably break on a different channel unless we do unless we film like late at night here we'll just do nick at night with two bowmen what about the brennan davis super fract auto you don't need that or is that already hit so from what i've seen no uh dominguez super auto yet huh or base auto or sorry I mean, no super fractor base or super fractor auto that's been revealed yet not yeah I guess it could have been pulled someone privately. Someone had it and someone bought a personal box. And, and just stashed it. Stashed yeah, but it. for that kind of card, I think it brag about it. It would make its rounds somehow. Yeah, it would make its rounds. There's no way someone's keeping us. Jason Dominguez quiet. Okay, so we got a few more. Greg guesses Mario Feliciano. Um, for the hobby, guesses Nico Holzer. You don't have to be specific, just guess the player. By the time I finish this box. I don't think we'll hit a super fractal in the first box, but maybe we will. The first person to chat to me. Yeah, Jason said you've been pulling a lot of Brennan Davis, I guess. Me? Uh, no. Red Dragon. Red Dragon. Cody Hosey to 150? Sorting team is going to hate this one. Red Dragon has been studying this so bad, he predicted my Jason Dominguez. Joe Ryan Atomic? That's crazy. Did you see the Dominguez I just hit? There's three players. No, not for color, only for base autos. Did you see the Dominguez I hit? Yeah, yeah. That was nice, so right? So you get I, mean, I guess not. Encarnacion yeah, yeah. base? Yeah. With um Gerard Encarnacion? Yeah, the one from the Marlins. Those are the two players. There's like two or three more players. If you get them all in the same like case, there's a Dominguez hundred percent of the time. And it works. Wait, what? Base, it works for base autos only. Not for color. Colors, Dude, I guess, the sorting team's gonna hate this one. Half the cards are flipped upside down. What is it That's again, Red? Not. See, look, I hit one, and then it'll be this flipped oh, upside down. No. And sorry, I can't turn each card. That's a sorting. That's that's a manufacturer. That's not my. That's error. not a dealer error. That's a. Yeah. Orange Shimmer, Grant Levine. To Wait, twenty-five. So if those two autographs show up, then the Dominguez. No, two or three of them. He predicted four out of the five, and it came out. Okay, so our final guess. 
is Bobby Witt Super Fractor. I think the non Ooh. the non auto was pulled, but maybe that Bobby Witt Super Fractor auto maybe. Oh yeah, there it is. Cannon, Encarnacion, and Cop. So those autos. He pop. hit those three, and then Dominguez came out right after. <laughs> I was like, whoa. Xavier Edwards base auto Padres Chris G. Good eye. It only works for the base, but the colors I guess are different. Um, there's 24 packs in each one, Cali's finest, and I think 12 cards a box. 12 cards. All right, pack. so 12 cards per pack. All right, the guessing window's been closed. Sorry, everybody who didn't make it. Christian Pache to 150. Bobby Witts, Paper Ship, Robert Puasson, and the other guy from the Yankees. 10 cards per pack, 24 packs per box, 24 times 10, 240. That is how many. Yeah, I think a lot of people might be live. Make sure you're watching live, hit that red button. Or the, hit the live button, make sure it's lit up red. Yeah. Uh, Otherwise, they're not going to hear it for 20 minutes. Well, then they'll catch up in 20 minutes. That's true. We'll see in 20 minutes. See on the other side. How does the past look? How does my future look? I see a future where I have four kids, I have a lot of wealth, and I never die. I'm not asking for much. We got sirens going off because we're about to hit the super fractor. Oh. Kind of cut off that fire. I always, I always get scared here. because then they're just gonna stop here and raid us. They are slowing down. Maybe there, there's a fire at Chapotle. Chapotle? There should be no one in Chapotle right now. The employees having a banger. Could be. Chipotle. This, the stack should be on this side. If I was if I was See, creating the pack stacker, three, because then I could just sit down and do it. Okay, right, 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 right. But no, it's okay. You just got used to it this way. So. Yeah. I feel like I don't put because when. No, I do that I, same thing. I pull the card with my right hand, so yeah. it, it naturally lands on my right side. Jason opens with his left hand. It's all weird. Wow. A studio Ooh, like, atomic. Like, like Tua. Yeah, I'm uh, have you ever seen, <laughs> what was Teddy? Have you ever seen a lefty breaker? <laughs> <laughs> Teddy's very skeptical of lefty, lefty quarterbacks. quarterbacks. Very skeptical. Steve Young, Michael Vick, Trent Dilfer. But then for every one of those players you name, they'll just be like, well, yeah. Tim Tebow and. Who'll be eating a lunchable pizza? <laughs> Wait, what? There's a lunch of pizza in the fridge. Like, yeah, like, Dan brought one. Oh, that'd be probably that. Okay. And then I, I took it from him. Nice. Could be a little snack later. I'm going to eat like a 10 year old. I haven't eaten any of those lunch of pizzas in so long. But since I was like, yeah, I remember made the we were before. talking about makeup pizzas and you're like, I made the lunchables before. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I used to do. Actually, we did the blaze. Oh my goodness. Uh, uh, Orange Damon Jones at 25. We did the blaze. I texted Nick. It was pretty funny. I did the blaze home kit. The home kit? Yeah, you make it at home. You could you like you buy the dough. I freaking turned it like a freaking like a pizzeria guy. Yeah, it's crazy. Did Steven Paulini to four ninety nine. I didn't do that. <laughs> I just turned the wheel. I want to see like I want to see Jason like pulling the, the pizza brains. up in the air. That was pretty cool. It's like two for fifteen, and you can choose all your toppings. Do you yeah, buy the I toppings that are two, or do you? It comes with the. Well, you I hate the places that them. that charge the same amount as what oh, you would have bought. The dough? It. They give you the dough, like, like a pepperoni or whatever, and it kind of gives you an instruction how to do it. And then yeah, you just put in the. Uh, you put any pineapple on there? No, I don't like pineapple on pizza. Do you? Okay, so you're good. No, pineapple on pizza is not. You can't trust people who <laughs> like pineapple on their yeah. pizza. <laughs> There's a place in hell for people like that. <laughs> <laughs> There's a place in hell for pineapple pizza eaters. Yeah, not me. I mean, my my father and my sister did that. It was terrible. I would say you have to get half something. You have to else. buy your own pie. I'm okay with that. Just buy my own pie. Well, they would. What they would do is 
they would go next door to the grocery store because it was cheaper to buy the pineapple and then put it on the pizza rather than buying a I mean, pineapple true, pizza. Actually, you can buy a whole pineapple it was like the little Dicky song where he, he sings about <laughs> saving money. Save that money. Yeah. <laughs> actually, all I was going to say too for people that like ate fries and put fries all over the fries instead of like um, ketchup all over the fries. What was Axel's other cheat? At Chipotle, he would ask them oh, yeah, to go he'd, back. He'd like, be like, oh, can I get, you know, carnitas? And as they're already going on to the veggies... And oh, they already wrote get, it down. Yeah, can I get double? Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. They go back. And they forget and to write it. And they forget to write on the double. <laughs> Mackenzie Gore to 250. <laughs> nice, Zach. That's good. You know what's funny? He's, he's in Texas right there. He's at the... He's, he's working with my cousin. Uh-huh. They're actually going to open up another, like, shop in Texas. And they're at their Ranger Stadium doing the electric... Oh, business. really? Yeah. Really? You're right there. Yeah. yeah. He ate Whataburger today. You go to that 7 Eleven? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Probably. Remember that little 7 Eleven? Yeah, that was so cool. Yeah. Axel moving up in the world. He might live in Dallas. Whataburger? Yeah, he rated it 7 out of 10. What did he get, though? I think he got a hamburger. You gotta get the honey barbecue chicken strip sandwich. That's <laughs> Remember when we went and it was closed at like Yeah, I was so pissed. And then that McDonald's was trash. <laughs> that was man. Gonna be sick. I got food poisoning, I think. <laughs> That was the worst experience of my life. What? And I just nailed my head on the on the trunk, too. Oh, yeah, that's how you do that. <laughs> I had a concussion driving at, like, 2 a.m. Like yeah, that wasn't though. food poisoning. Like, the nausea you were feeling Probably. was the concussion. <laughs> well, yeah, combined with, like, this McDonald's in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. Aren't those supposed to be, like, the best, though? Like, a McDonald's in the middle of nowhere? No, that franchise. one was very no. sketchy. They're franchise. It's sketch, so. man. Yeah. I don't they were, like, laughing at us for ordering. <laughs> <laughs> I remember it just, yeah... We went to Raisin Cane's, too. Oh, that one was cool. That was okay. Yeah, I never forget my first Raisin Cane. They just laughed at me for the barbecue oh, like, sauce. Barbecue? Yeah, they laughed me out of the building. <laughs> they laughed you out of the building? Yeah, they don't do sauce as well. They don't do barbecue. They only have the They have their own sauce. And I don't like their sauce. It's like, give me some Q here. A Kino to four ninety nine. I don't know. He's been there like once, I think. He always talks about it though. Oh, you mean he raves about it? It's because when we went to Arizona last a couple months ago, yeah, yeah, yeah. at the spring training game at the Angels game, they have a wheel. Oh. Raisin Cane's like sponsors this wheel, so he made me spin it because he wanted something free. <laughs> so he got he got like a like a free something. So then he lo- his brand loyalty, like he'll oh. he'll stick with it. I don't yeah, think he's Teddy, ever eaten Teddy that. Teddy would be like, oh yeah, I want to go grab lunch. He's like, you order raisin canes? Yeah, Teddy, <laughs> Teddy texted me the other day. He was like, don't tell anybody, but I'm out in raisin canes. <laughs> <laughs> well, we went to try it. It was so funny, though. Yeah. <laughs> Is there a raisin canes around here? No. 150, yeah. Daniel the Lynch. The Long Beach. Oh. But it's kind of close to him. He was like, their sauce game is weak. Yeah, we like, tried it one time, and he was just like, whatever. <laughs> he was unimpressed. Yeah, he was not impressed. I feel like Teddy's kind of like me. He'll just like, he'll like random stuff more than like, you know. People, I know. Teddy's a weird like dude, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just waiting for this super fractor to come out. Alright, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Alright, All right, see you guys. Later. Bye, Vanessa. Good night. Just waiting for this super fractor to pop out. Alec Thomas for four ninety nine. Omar Estevez for the Dodgers to four ninety nine. Tell us about just Omar. He like times it so that someone's like, walking out. Turn. I, was like, oh my God. I parked. I parked in his spot. Oh, like he's so mad then. It's Chad W with that one. He's so mad. Tell us about Omar Estevez. I don't know anything about Omar Estevez. What position does he play? I thought you were gonna know more. No, I'm. I'm like second base. You're totally out on Dodgers prospects. Yeah, after after Cody Hosey and Michael Bush in 2019 or 2018. 2019. 2019. Draft. I think I lost. lost Royce Lewis guys. Atomic. Then they then they got like I know Diego Cartaya, but Miguel Amaya and then more as the best. No knowledge of at the moment. 
My baseball brain is soft right now. It's not sharp. It's no baseball. My brain is atrophying. At astro. What I got like ten breaks after this? What's going on? That's on the show notes. It loads. Your show notes isn't loading. There it is. There it is. Oh my goodness. I got three See, breaks. I, know, I think it's easy after that. Three box Prism Retail. I got a giveaway. Prism. Pelicans. Someone's going to be out of the randomizer. It's going to be a nightmare. And then it's Crown. I think it's only a three box Crown, two box Cup, and then you're done. And I got paper, like Bowman Cut. I don't know. No, paper Bowman Cut stuff. You also have to watch out for the brand new monster boxes. Those edges are sharp. Those are Those so are like, sharp. They are, they are dangerous. It's like a freaking ninja's blade on those. It is like a ninja's blade. I don't know what they were thinking. I cut myself a couple days on Bowman 24 hour night. I hit, I cut myself. Not on purpose. Yeah, that's not good. Cause then it just, then it's like, it's like biting the inside of your mouth. It's terrible. Mm -hmm. I got a cold sore again, it's a nightmare. Oh man, you gotta get some more sleep. Yeah. Stop going around town. All right, that too. That too. This one's a lot more chill. No uh, political talk in this Bowman break. Our last chat was at 11.28 p.m. Uh, there's Wander Franco to 4.99. Cali's Finest now ringing in nine minutes after our last chat. He says, um, on the cold sore thing. Yeah, I think it's from that lack of sleep, not other stuff. Smooching questionable ladies. There's Oscar Gonzalez, three of four ninety nine. He doesn't want the cards to be touched by me anymore. I, I think I bit the inside of my tongue, and then it gets the inside of my probably mouth. Those, probably those, probably uh, those Miracosa salutes. Jeremy Tillman. Whoa, relax. They're eighteen. Right, right, right. You're yeah. talking about a high school. Come on. It's a yeah. 25, Ronald Acuna You're Jr. You're 18, so it's okay. I'm under 18. You're 17, so it's okay. Uh, that's a 1990 Bowman. Did I bring that back from Vegas? Nah. The only thing I've ever brought back from Vegas is... Thousands of dollars. Fat Wallet. From all the things I put in my wallet that I didn't use. Just kidding. Dude, this commercial couldn't be more cheesy. They're trying so hard. You notice the couple in this commercial? Yeah, too? be a little. Yeah. I, that's what I'm saying. They're trying so but hard. But with the crunch bar, yeah. like it's like a little really, it's a little too on the nose. Why? Because it's a mix of two. Yeah. Milk and chocolate. It's a little too on the nose. What's this? High notes. Ice cube. What has he done? Is this like pitch perfect. Clark Schmidt, Anna Kendrick. She hasn't done anything since that movie. She's in that. She's in that Con Air. That's it. Or up in, the, up in the air. Up in the air. Con Air with Nicholas Cage. Up in the air with uh, George, <laughs> George Clooney. Clooney. Um, no, she's doing that new Netflix show or Amazon Prime show or uh, Hulu show, where she uh, she be befriends her boyfriend's sex doll. Teddy told me to watch this movie called it Flower. Comes, I don't know if alive. it's weird or not, though. If it's Teddy, it's probably weird. Like, you know what people say about, like, flowers? Yeah. Like, I don't want it to be about that. Right, right, right. Knowing Teddy, who knows? Scott Pilgrim? She wasn't in Scott Pilgrim, was she? I've never seen the movie. It's not with Michael Sarah, though. Are you, or are you saying Michael Sarah hasn't done anything? Since Scott Pilgrim? Since Scott Pilgrim. He was in This Is The End, short cameo. Oh, she was the sister? I've never seen that. Okay. 
I heard it's good though, I guess. Really need something big here. Wake me up. Dominguez. We need a new set here. Set upgrade. Dominguez paper. Yeah? Yeah, I'm thinking twin turbo engine. Ooh, nice, nice. That's why I got a Mini Cooper. So. Yeah, well, should I get a Maserati? My Maserati. Just get, oh no, Mini Cooper is Italian? No. English. You should have gotten a Fiat. We could have just all gotten Italian, just Italian motor cars? vehicles. There's like a Fiat Abarth or something like that that is like turbocharged. I heard it's pretty, pretty fast. They have the, the most je ne sais quoi, I believe is Italian. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Maybe, Hunter Bishop. Maybe a, a French speaking Italian, yes. Jordan Adams to 250. And Quinn Cotton, Purple Auto, number to 250. The Reds, Jeremy Tillman. Cotton. Feels like a Thursday to me. Yeah, it kind of does. Memorial Day, I don't know. That whole thing threw me off. It's gonna throw off so many people's mail too. It's gonna be like, oh, yeah. we got it. But it's like, yeah. got the where's, where's, where's our mail? Like, remember Memorial Day? They don't do anything. And then everything gets backed up. Um, we'll have a lot of new breaks, um, Justin. A few more mixers, some more basketball stuff. Um, a lot of Noir will go tomorrow, though. Mainly Noir basketball. I think we might have one case, actually, for random teams. So, we'll probably post that. I was uh, surprised slash happy at how fast the Noir, the Noir was moving. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I feel good like last year, it didn't move, did not move nearly this fast. Yeah. The 25 round Mount Castle. Yeah, this year... The draft class is a lot better, in my opinion. A little more deep. Plus, I think uh, they upgraded the set this year. There's a lot of emphasis on sneaker cards, uh, which I think are going to be like very highly sought after. Like, their sneaker spotlight cards are going to go for a lot. Because now you have sneaker... It's like the Project 2020 where you have like art collectors going in. Now you're going to have sneaker collectors bidding on these sneaker cards, you know? display it next to their Jordans or Kobe's or whatever. I'm not sure what a random team would be. I think around $200 for a full case. So maybe we'll do like half case random team for 100 bucks. And then, yeah, I'm sure we'll do uh, number blocks for the, the picker teams that aren't aren't moving or moving. So people kind of consider those as random teams, too, sort of. Yeah, it's kind of a blend. Kind of a hybrid. Maybe a Pelican serial number. I don't know. Maybe someone will buy the Pelicans overnight. Chronicles football? I don't think we have any more Chronicles football. I didn't see any more. In the back. Chronicles hanger breaks? Then yeah, we'll probably have some if we do a mixer or something. Dominguez. I think the only Chronicles football we have left are for personal boxes. Might have like three or four boxes left unless Jason did them tonight. And we'll probably do some more select baseball. Those two breaks are really close. Maybe do a serial number for those to 
kill both halves. Maybe a select baseball random teams. We'll have some more Bowman tomorrow. So There'll be a lot, actually. Mackenzie Gore to 499. No, we don't have any more Chronicles football in order. Damon Jones to 150. If we do get any more, it probably won't be until like maybe next week. But we don't have any right now. Sometimes stuff kind of falls into our lap though, or they tell us, hey, we found another case in the back of the warehouse or something. Ooh, this is the first one I've hit of him. Come on, let, let's be a Super Fractor. Come on. Super. Super Fractor super, Auto Bobby Wood Jr. Super. Super. Ah, uh, Refractor Auto. It's actually the second I one I've hit, I think. I think I've not seen any Bobby Wood Jr. autographs except for that Under Armour one that I pulled. Robert Throne with the Royals. Nice. Yeah, I think I hit one of these, actually, now that I think of it. You said you hit a dual auto, right? I haven't yeah, I hit a dual auto of the Vargas and the other Dodger. Pretty sweet. Someone said there was books in this? Like yeah, there's like, like it's like luminaries of, book. It's like one, one out of 100,000 cases or something yeah. like that. I think they're hobby only. Too. Yeah, that's what I heard, too. Yeah, Justin Bible had guest wit Super Fractor Auto. Ooh, Who knows? Close, maybe close. maybe it will be. Maybe we'll hit like a top 100 Bobby Witt Super Fractor. That'll count. There's Brian Mata Atomic. Sonic commercial, seriously? Oh, they need a Sonic here. Why are all these commercials like so like endearing? They're trying to make them. Trying to be all like, COVID positive. But that that was like totally opposite. Remember kids ate Tide Pods to get views on yeah. YouTube? Yeah. Is that still a thing? Are kids still eating Tide Pods? I don't think so. I think that's technically my generation. I guess I'll have to I guess buying EatingTidePods.com was a mistake. You gotta bring it back. <laughs> you gotta start the trend. I gotta start doing it. .net, .com, <laughs> .org. What a mistake. No, you gotta have a Generation Z -er. I was hoping to. I was hoping to sell that to some kid who got famous eating Tide Pods, or sell it to Tide. None of that worked out. What a mistake. Wow, John, you want to go all negative on us? Called no super fractor for ten dollars and break. Wow, credit. that's like that's like pa that's yeah. like the no that's pass like line. That's like betting on the no pass. No line. pass line and craps. And craps. Wow, John Samuelson's a no pass guy. Are we getting into this? Oh yeah, we are. I think you just showed up. Oh, no, now you're covering all the cards. People uh, think I'm not stealing here. Both hands are right here. One's holding it, and one's. People think there's a uh, person in the back. <laughs> there's like a small person that's coming back here. Yeah. Sifting through the cards at lightning speed, pulling Dominguez's in, and then... John Samuelson's a no-pass line bet guy. You, you're a no-pass... Oh, uh -huh. man. Scum of the earth. <laughs> There's a special place in hell for, the no, for betting the no-pass line. Pineapple pizza people and... And, and, do and the pass people line. Who, don't put that, who put the divider up and the uh, grocery store line. Oh, yeah. Those people are like... And people who cut in on PCH in the third lane, uh, even though they know there's parked cars in the third what? lane, they do, drive in that lane. Who just... would do that? I mean, maybe if you have a if you have a car that has a twin turbo air. in it, maybe you can you're capable of doing that. I would not. Ugh, I would gosh. not suggest many to do that. It infuriates me. But what if you had a hundred Christian Robinson, ninety horsepower, Mini Cooper, twin turbo S type, go zero to sixty. Another six seconds, maybe you have that kind of muscle for it. Yeah. People have that kind of car. Like a Tesla you're talking about? Tesla could probably do it too. All the Teslas are heavier. They're your top loaders right there too. Thanks. Are all these on camera? Yes? It's good? Good enough? Yeah. 
You got your knife right here. Cut, cut, hop, cut, cut. Chris cut Valamont. Copy. <laughs> cut, copy is back here. Uh, and cut, cup hockey. I can't talk. I gotta go. Cup hockey. I keep, I keep saying cut coffee. Prism Retail, I just grabbed three boxes. Oh, right? I can grab Prism Retail for you. And Crown NBA. Crown NBA. Thank you. Did you hit anything with the Pelicans, John? A few things, Joe says. Not any. I guess if you're in it for... Why did this light just turn on? What? I just turned off the light. It just turned on this light. Oh my god, the wiring is so messed up. Yeah, if you're in it for not a lot, definitely not bad. Uh, there's Hans Kruis Atomic. Yeah, I mean, if you hit a if you hit a gold or something in the select, then definitely. Just like any other box, you know, if you hit the right players or something. I had a nice Paul Goldschmidt one one. Uh, there's Jake Cave to one fifty, patch auto from select for a customer. Um, I've only breaking, broken six boxes of select, so I don't know really the odds, but I hit one a uh, 101 in the six boxes, so. And I think there's like a lot of out of fives or out of tens. But yeah, there's no logos on it, so it does hurt the resale value a little bit. But yeah, like I said, yeah, there you go. This? Yeah. Basketball is the best right now for ripping and flipping. All right, I'm out. Good night, guys. Later, Chad. All right, thanks. No worries. But yeah, if you're gonna get baseball, probably, probably Bowman. Dominguez. Logan Allen to 250. But yeah, it is inflated because of Dominguez. But I mean, like I said, like I tell a lot of people, you know, hobby boxes are in trending upwards, but so are, you know, single values, you know. So it sort of offsets in a way. You know, when we were selling Bowman for maybe $100 a box a few years ago, there was definitely not a ceiling that you could hit with any of like the top three or four guys as you can this year. Uh, Blake Rutherford to 125. And we got Eric Rivera for the Angels. Sorry. That's why we got the break in that. I don't know. Bowman four years ago, 20, I guess that was five years ago now. But if you look at like Bowman 2015 boxes, they're still like really cheap. I don't think there's any great players in that. We did a trip to Asia, actually. Jaspies did. We went to Japan and Taiwan to do case breaks of Bowman Asia. Have you tried the sandwich yet? I had the Carlos Rodon Superfract Auto, which at the time was a ton, I'm sure. He was on the cover. He was hyped up. I'm sure he's not selling for what he was. Isaac Paredes. Oh, gotcha. But yeah, I mean, boxes now are higher, but yeah, there's also a lot more demand for cards and all that too, so. Like I said, sort of offsets it a little bit. If the cards you're gonna pull are worth more and the ceiling is higher. 
But yeah, I mean, there's also, you know, Bowman Retail and stuff like that, too, if you can find it. There's a Dominguez. Insert. Franklin Perez to 499. Yeah, I think we've had some solid cases of Bowman, right? We've had a lot of Dominguez autos. Six or seven, I think. Probably like every three or four cases. All right, four boxes to go. Full for tonight, but we will have some more breaks tomorrow. And, of course, we're going to have some more Bowman Jumbo Thursday. That's when our second batch gets delivered. Remember, they delayed a good chunk of Bowman last week until this week for whatever reason. I think something to do with COVID. But we do have Bowman Hobby tomorrow. We have a couple cases I'm sure we'll do. There's Gavin Lux to 150. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how often... How often do you do the short print autos? I know, like, Joe Adele, 2017 Bowman Draft was, like, super, super short print. His stuff goes for a lot. His base auto. Because it's so short printed, I feel like. I think it's over a thousand bucks, right? Bossy, how's it going? Spencer Howard Atomic. Yeah. Chrome was, yeah. I remember Chrome, I mean, I'd still probably the least out of the three, but I remember Chrome nobody wanted. It was never, we would have, to, we would like have to tell distributors to not send us cases because, but it's definitely gotten a lot better the last few years, Chrome and Chrome, that is. Oscar Gonzalez, 125. Yeah, that's interesting. I thought some guys were going to be short printed. Ooh, here's Dustin May auto. Base. Chad W. with the Dodgers. I thought with the whole COVID thing that there'd be some guys who are short printed, but...
Gunnar Henderson, the 25 orange. Sam Huff, orange chrome out of the 25. Nice. Only can find the oranges in the hobby. Rangers is EA. Very nice one. 21 to 25. Yeah, people have been slow to buy the Rangers. Uh, Gavin Lux. I think that might be our first big hit for them. Hit a few Apostles. Grant Levine. Tomic. Uh, Eric, EA has him in this one. I think bottom straight up. I think we only had to do the Tigers as a spot random. Alright, so I'm fully booked for tonight. But we got a few more breaks coming up after this. Um, John Samuelson asked Red Dragon which of the uh, which has hit the most out of Whip, JD, and Pawson, and which has hit the least. We've hit the most of Dominguez, us personally, and then Whip, and then I don't think have we hit a Pawson autograph. Us personally, but we haven't done a ton. We haven't had his autograph, I feel like.
Gavin Lux to four ninety nine. Luis Garcia to 250. Bayron Laura to 299. Is who pink? What do you mean? There's a Sejas for the Cardinals. That's Chris G. Bruins, Lightning, Golden Knights are 6-1 to one to win. I didn't know they were that good this year. Oh, it's the Hub City, that's why. Or likely to be the Hub City. That makes sense, I guess. Gives them a slight advantage. Maybe a big advantage. Definitely a pattern with the Dominguez um, paper and then chrome. Wow, you think Joe's been off his game? But no. Uh, it's been fun, John. Hopefully, the more break we do, the more of the better products we can get. Eventually get somebody to just we'll just be here 24 hours a day seven days a week Just constantly on oh, okay Yeah, that's why I was saying about the box prices Red Dragon says single prices for Bowman right now are credible 13 base autos going for above $75 that was like unheard. That'd be unheard of like three, four years ago, I feel like. All right, last box. Good luck. Last chance, last chance to hit a super right here tonight. But yeah, most nights I'm already up this late, so might as well break. Although I got a lot of stuff to post. See how late that takes me. I've been watching Ozark, though. I've never seen it. I actually started a few years ago, but I'm getting into it now. I'm on season one. So, I'll watch some of that. Post some stuff. And then wake up, come help Joe with uh, Noir basketball and stuff. Post number blocks or something. Do a recap after this box of all the stuff. Hopefully we can hit a color auto in this last box here. Do like how the jumbo autographs they have them facing forwards, and the Bowman hobby they have them backwards. We have a gold coming up. We have uh, Bryce Turang to 50. Brew Crew. Jeremy Tillman. I saw that. The Patino was uh, $100. I saw that. I was repricing the teams. I was like, shoot. <laughs> I had the Padres for way too cheap. I think it was Rory's birthday today. At least Facebook said. All right, here's the last hit. It is Encarnacion for the Marlins, 41 of 50. Very nice gold refractor auto right there. 
couple solid hobby cases. Uh, the Marlins, that's going out to John G. Very nice one. Sam Huff, orange auto to 25. Encarnacion, gold auto to 50. Last case, we had a, a Dominguez. No reds or supers, but still pretty nice, in my opinion. We'll do this last few and recap. Laura Atomic. I like the hobby cases. They're a little tougher to break just because of the pattern, but the jumbos are a lot quicker, but a lot of value in the hobbies, I think, for case breaking. Have not hit a Super Fractor. None of us have from this year's Bowman. So there you go, that was the case. Uh, let's recap it a little bit here. Kind of in a random order. But some of the non-autographed highlights, we had a bunch of Dominguez base and stuff too. Uh, there's Grant Levine to 25, Stephen Paulini to 499, Encarnacion Gold Auto to 50, Terang to 50, Sejas base auto Lux to 4.99. Sam Huff orange out of the 25. Gunner to 25. Dustin May, Lux to 150. Rivera. Bobby Witt refractor auto was really nice. Forgot about that one. To 4.99. Quinn Cotton to 250. Acuna to 25. Oscar Gonzalez to 4.99. Franco to 4.99. Estevez to 4.99. Damon Jones orange and Xavier Edwards. So there you go, pretty solid case. You had a Bobby Witt, you had an orange auto Sam Huff, and an Encarnacion Gold auto to 50. So some nice stuff. Thanks everybody for getting in. See you all next time. JazzBeesCaseBreaks.com.